Welcome back. There's no time to explain. We're gonna hop straight into a game. Mega Knight cycle with rage, with wall breakers. So wall breakers are gonna be good to put pressure on. Bats are gonna be good for distracting inferno towers, inferno dragons, killing air cards. Skeletons are just gonna do what skeletons do. And Mega Knight is gonna be scary. Heal spirit's gonna be there to make the Mega Knight even more scary and harder to deal with. And uh, logs just a useful card, I guess. Uh, not really. Doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Anyway. The goal for today is to win a few games, get our lucky drop, and uh, just have a lot of fun, because this channel is all about fun. Alright, Mega Knight is gonna kill that. I did not- wow, 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 wow. I really have no way to kill the Night Witch, and I have no good way to destroy that pump. So, that means we have to push in right now. Heal Spirit is gonna heal up that Mega Knight. Uh, now that the Dagger Duchess has run out of daggers, Mega Knights gets onto the tower. Wallbreakers are going to be scary. He's not going to have to deal with them, and they're going to get a hit. Nice. That is a picture-perfect start. We'll just Skeletons here to defend that. He's going to get an Elixir advantage, but we're back to the Evo Bats. I say back to. It's the first time we're there. Uh, we're, we have the Evo Bats, which means we're going to be able to defend quite well. Shit. Okay, Mega Knight is going to help with that Golem. <laughs> this is... Uh... This is kind of scary. I wish I could pressure the other lane, but I have nothing to pressure with. And he has Dagger Duchess, which means that I basically cannot pressure. That's the way that this game works nowadays. Fire Spirit is going to have to help us out here. Man, what the fuck do I do? Alright, bats down low so that the E Dragon doesn't chain. Never mind. We are fucked. Okay, okay, okay. First game. It's okay. We can lose our first game. The whole point is that we will develop this deck as we go, alright? We'll just... Make it work as we go along. Yeah, we're completely fucked here. That was just unlucky. What are the odds I face literally the worst deck possible in the first game? Alright, we have no time for changes. We're just gonna keep playing the same deck until it works, alright? And it will work, I promise that. And I promise you that, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, don't do that, please. Mega Knight is gonna kill that. What I wanted to talk about today is I was watching a TikTok not on the actual TikTok app, I was using Instagram Reels, but for some reason, like, they just post TikToks everywhere now, it's like, YouTube Shorts, if you if you make TikToks nowadays, you also make YouTube Shorts, you're also an Instagram Reeler, and yeah, you do all that, oh, that was close. Wallbreakers should get a connection, at least one of them should, nice. And now, this guy seems to be playing a log bait deck, he's got Goblin Gang, Dark Goblin Princess, the log is gonna come down for that. And we can reset here. Yeah, I do find it interesting how, you know, people will post on all three of those platforms. And it's all short form content, right? Like they're posting the exact same videos. But it'll pop off on one of them and it doesn't pop off on the others. I don't know how why I can't speak today. It won't pop off on the others. And I don't know exactly why that is. But, okay, rage for that. Heal spirit on this. Is that going to do anything? Nope. Our Mega Knight's going to survive though. It's going to splash that. The bats are going to do some good damage if he doesn't do anything. And we're going to pressure with the wall breakers. Make him spend some elixir. If he doesn't, then we're going to basically take his whole tower. Alright, he's down to a thousand. Good start. Fire spirit as well. Let's just put more pressure on. And we have the log for his princess if he wants to play that. Is he really not gonna? Oh, wow. Yeah, can we just acknowledge that Instagram comments are by far the best and the worst thing? Like... Best as in, like, they're the funniest, but at the same time, they're the most offensive, and they're also filled with just really shit people sometimes. But I like them. Uh, Evo Bats got a nerf, not exactly sure why. Completely undeserved in my opinion. They were good before, but like, not that good. Compared to all the other Evos that exist, like Bomber and shit. Look at them go though, maybe I'm being proven wrong. Fuck. Okay, Heal Spirit is gonna heal up that Mega Knight. We're gonna play a second Mega Knight. Again, this is Mega Knight Cycle. Uh, Log is gonna kill that, except for one Spear Goblin. We'll play a Fire Spirit on that. Um, let's Rage here for this. And then, if, once we kill that Bomb Tower, those Wall Breakers should get some good value. Nice! We're gonna take his tower, I think. Basically, we do. Log here for this. Um, can you stop being annoying, please? Wow, I, I completely missed that. And yeah, we win, we win the second game, not bad. We're gonna get our lucky drop because I only needed one game, but I'm not gonna open it yet because I wanna keep you guys here with me, all right? You guys don't get the satisfaction of watching me open it just yet. At least let it be like five minutes into the video. But anyway, what I was trying to say was I was watching some TikToks. Some were of like people dancing. Some were of people uh, doing this like blind tier list thing that I'm sure you've seen before. And some other ones I can't really remember, but the important part was 
it made me think about how I seriously chose the right thing doing YouTube videos instead of making like Instagram reels and TikToks and stuff because I seriously do not have the energy for that kind of content. And this is not an insult to them at all, right? In fact, I think it's quite a good thing. Can that Mega Knight stay in the rage, please? Uh, that was not well played, bro. Stop lying. I, God, I hate how playing against Dagger Duchess just means... Okay, no, no, no. Uh, we're fucked. You know what? Let's move on to the next game. There's nothing I can do against that, bro. Uh, we'll have to Mega Knight in the back. Yeah, bro, shut the fuck up. Stop saying well played. Yeah, like I was saying, it's not an insult to them at all. I'm kind of jealous of the fact that they can be that energe energetic. But this guy who was making the tier list was literally just like... He was laughing. And he burst out laughing like five times during the video. And, oh my god, this guy's just being annoying. I'm gonna mute him. Just for the sake of my concentration. Uh, he burst out laughing like five times during the video. And it was like a one minute video. Right? I know there's a few cuts in there and stuff, but like surely it, I would not have been able to laugh that much. Um, I'd be lucky if in a week I laugh more than once or twice that hard, right? Like burst out laughing. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and yeah, I just, I wouldn't be able to do it. This doesn't work now, does it? Evo Skellies don't kill the Mega, uh, the uh, Electro Giant anymore, which is kind of a rip situation, to be honest. Ugh, fuck, man. Okay, okay. We are back to two Mega Knights, so this might be able to do something. Why is my elixir so slow? Okay, we're gonna put this in the other lane. And then let's play a Heal Spirit with this. Let's rage this up. Heal Spirit's just gonna fucking die. Ah, no, no, there's nothing we can do. Alright, this- some changes need to be made to this deck. This is not working. And this guy is extremely annoying, so I'm not gonna unmute. Actually, you know, I will, just for your sake. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you the fucking three crown, bro. You're that annoying that, like, I actually care about that kind of stuff. Wait, okay, let's hope- Oh, I have to win two games to get our lucky drop. So, that actually should keep you around for longer. What changes should we make to this deck? So, we have nothing really high damage that stays on the map. You know, like, the fire spirit just kills itself when it jumps. Don't do that, by the way, kids. I think these are kind of useless. Actually, I think firecracker might be quite good. We'll put the firecracker in instead of the bats. And we'll take out the bats or something cheaper. Let's just put in a nice spirit. Yeah, to be fair though, I did laugh today really hard. I was on the toilet and using my phone, which... Don't do that and don't do drugs, kids. Um, fire spirit to put some pressure on. I'm gonna have to rage here for that. We take no damage, wow. That's surprising. Okay, Mega Knight to kill that fucking princess. E spirit, uh, ice spirit, heal spirit, everything. Just put some good pressure on. That is gonna heal up our little boy. And Firecracker should get some chip on the tower. Hopefully. Nice. Okay. And now we're gonna play the Rage just to be extremely annoying. He's gonna activate King though. Fuck. Okay, that was well played by him. But yeah, I was watching this video on the toilet, which again, don't do that. But, um, I was actually just laughing my fucking head off to the point where I almost fell off the toilet. It was that funny, alright? I know it doesn't seem like me to be laughing that hard, but that is a true story. Okay, can this guy fuck off? <sighs> That's gonna get two shots. I'm gonna... Uh, I can't play the Mega Knight in time. Alright, Golden Knight's gonna die. We're gonna build up a push from the back. I feel like I haven't cycled my Mega Knights enough, alright? This video is gonna be something about... Gonna be called something about Mega Knight cycle. I need to actually cycle it for that to be correct. Someone's watching me, putting some pressure on. I'll play the Fire Spirit behind, get the log ready for that, get the Rage down for this, play the Firecracker as well. He- oh, that's really annoying. That's actually the one time that that's gonna be a good card for him. Mega Knight's gonna jump on tower though, get the Splash, I'll take that. We gotta be cautious of his Princess here, and that dash. Nice, get fucked, dude. Uh, I say that as I play Skeletons into his thing. We're gonna have to log here and then keep- Oh my god, how the fuck- Now we have Evo Skellies. I'm trying to think of a way to just put some pressure on, but I honestly don't know how. Alright, because he's got so much splash, my Evo Skellies aren't going to do anything. Mm, okay, Heal Spirit is going to help heal that Mega Knight. We're going to play another one. We will... Rage. Log. I swear to god if that gets a hit. Okay, it doesn't. Um, Mega Knight might get on tower here. Nope, but Fire Spirit's on tower. Fire Spirit? I keep saying fucking Fire Spirit! I mean Firecracker. Somehow that didn't get a shot. Why is this not working? I can't think of why this wouldn't work. Honestly, this looks like such a good deck. And not only is this not working, my commentary doesn't seem to be working either. I can't think. I can't see anything wrong with this deck at all. It looks perfect. 
You know what? We're going to put in the tornado for the extra surprise element. Firecracker should be able to get some good value with the tornado. Get us some good damage on the tower. Mega Knight, when it jumps, can splash a lot of stuff if I nado it in. Yeah, basically what I was trying to say with this video is that I just think I'd be a really boring TikToker because I just don't have the energy for that kind of content, right? Like the dancing especially, the people dancing are like smiling the whole time, right? For like two minutes straight during their dance. And uh, I think it's a great thing, like, it, you know, spreading positivity and all that kind of stuff. That's all good. I'm cool with that. I'm not trying to hate. I'm just saying that, like, my face can't hold a smile for more than, like, 10 seconds in a row. Anyway, he kind of wasted his night there. This is going to be decent for us. We'll just Ice Spirit to kind of freeze that. Play the Skeleton to get some good damage on it. Hopefully the Giant doesn't get to my tower. And it does. Wow. Um, Fire Spirit. Heal Spirit. We're back to another Mega Knight. Now that he's played his Knight in that lane, I'm thinking I'm going to play Mega Knight in the other lane, and he might not be able to do anything about this. Worst comes to absolute worst, we can nado whatever he plays to the tower. Okay, that... Yeah, nice. We get onto the tower. I'm going to rage that up, get more damage. His Knight's on my tower, so let's just protect that real quick. And nice. Now we're going to go in with our Firecracker. Hopefully that doesn't instantly die. Oh, it will. Damn, that was, that was a waste. Not a bad start. We can make this work. I just need to win one more game to get our lucky drop. So hopefully this is the game. Okay. Mortar is uh, a little bit annoying. Are you seriously not going to jump? Dude, just... Okay. Um, damn. Damn, damn, damn. That was really bad. Shit. Now he's being up, uh, building up a big push. We are going to have to play the Ice Spirit here. Kind of distract. Play the Skeletons. I'll play the Firecracker in the back. And then hopefully... Yeah, he decides to nato that, so we're gonna pull that off our tower. The Musketeer is gonna get on my tower. Fire Spirit, please come down. Kill everything. Uh, okay, we're gonna play the Skeletons here. That's gonna protect us. We are safe for... We're safe for now, alright? We can make this work. Just have to make sure we put enough pressure on him that he... Mm, that he can't do stuff like that. That was a terrible Mega Knight, but at least the Mortar is now locked onto that. The Firecracker should be able to get some good value. We're gonna pull everything in. Is that gonna do anything? Mega Knight jump? No, bro, fucking jump! Okay. Mortar is still alive. That is kind of scary. Uh, dude, am I fucked? I might be fucked. Man! <laughs> this is really... This is really annoying. Mega Knight decides to stop hitting the Giant as well. We're gonna have to play the Skeletons here. Just pray that this doesn't get any damage. Nice! Okay. We're still in it. Let's play the Mega Knight here. Just need to distract that mortar for a little bit longer. It's on my fucking tower! How the fuck is it on my tower? Dude. Tell me how that was on my tower. My Mega Knight. I swear that was down in time, bro. Okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to win another game. Why is this not working? And everyone is being so annoying with their emotes. Okay, I've just made the executive decision to put a mirror in because the more Mega Knights that we can play, the better. I may or may not be eating wings tonight. And can we just take a second to appreciate menus that are small? Because, I don't know about you guys, but I hate going to restaurants where like the menu is just super long. And I love restaurants where the menu is super short. <laughs> it was pretty self-explanatory what I was about to say. But, um, okay. He decides to play the minor. You know what? We'll let it go for now. Just, let's just let him play what he wants to play and see what he has. Mega Knight doesn't jump on the tower, pretty close though. Um, Firecracker dies, but we're back to another Mega Knight, so let's just play it now and just see what happens. Alright. Someone's still watching me. Not sure why. Okay, we're gonna rage here for that. Kill the guards. Now Mega Knight's gonna jump onto the tower. No, bro! Mm. Dude, we're so close every time. Alright. I see promise in this deck. In Thai restaurants, I obviously grew up in Thailand. I, I don't know why I said obviously. I don't think that's obvious at all. I grew up in Thailand and in Thai restaurants, most, like 99% of Thai restaurants have like 600 things on the menu. Lava Hound, I'm fucked. Huh. Okay, we're just gonna put pressure on in the other lane. I forgot, I took bats out of this deck. So now I have like no air defense. I'm just gonna have to rely on the... I'm gonna rage here. I'm gonna have to rely on the firecracker doing bits for me. This guy's being so annoying, man. Yeah, I'm dead. Ice Spirit, please do something. Fire Spirit, please do something. Dude, and he has arrows. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. At least we have the... Nope. 
Okay, you know what? Let's just move on to the next game. You know, whilst he's ruining me in the butt, I'm just gonna say what I wanted to say. Thai restaurants have like 400 things on their menu. And so at that point, I'm always just like, I'll, I'll say to my mom, just order for me, like I'll eat whatever. But honestly, it makes me feel happier when the food choice is made for me. Or like in a restaurant, if they have a bunch of stuff on the menu, at least have like the chef's favorites or like the little star that they put next to their best food or like best selling food, because that just helps me make my decision. And it honestly just makes such a big difference to me. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the paradox of choice. I think that's what it's called. And, but that's basically like where, oh dude, why are we playing against the same fucking decks every time? Uh, we just need to win one more, that was terrible. We just need to win one more game, by the way, in order to get our lucky drop. Firecracker should help take care of these bats, at least a little bit. Let's nado all this in, and hopefully the firecracker does some some cool stuff. I have an extra nado as well, which should help me out here. Damn. Okay, that was kind of well played by him. We're gonna have to... Mm, dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Alright. Kill the baby dragon, please. We're gonna have to nado on this... Pull all that back. Okay, we're still in it. We can make this work. Yeah, the paradox of choice basically says that the more options we have, the less satisfied we are with our options. Because you like to think, right? Oh, the more things I can choose from, the better decision I can make, and then I'll be happier with my decision. The only issue with that is you end up being so indecisive on like two things that you want to order. And then when you can't decide between those two things, you end up just like guessing what you would prefer. And then the whole time that you're like waiting and in anticipation for your order to arrive, you're thinking about, oh, I should have made that other choice. I should have got that instead. That would have been so much better. And then by the point your food gets there and you're eating it, you're too busy thinking about the other thing being better that you end up not enjoying the thing that you're eating. Hopefully that makes some sense. We're gonna nato this off my tower before it dies so it doesn't splash. Um, Firecracker is going to get some good value there. We're going to have to play this skeletons up high and hopefully that only gets one shot. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to try force this in front. Of course it's not going to go in front. Oh, it does. Okay, that was clutch. All right, now we can rage this up. Does that die? Please die. It doesn't die. We're going to have to nado. Uh, fuck. What else? Please just work, dude. I, I'm so sick of this. Okay, okay, okay. No! All right, Mega Knight. Mm, shit. Okay, let's cycle. Dude, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna cycle a firecracker in the back. We're gonna play a mirror on the firecracker and just pray he doesn't have anything for that. Play a Mega Knight up high so that things don't cross the bridge. Use this NATO to pull everything back. Please don't die. Okay, everything's still staying alive. Rage here. Uh, firecrackers are still alive. Okay, we're back to another one. We can play a Mega Knight as well. Okay, okay, okay. We can make this work. Another firecracker. Um, pull this back. Firecracker, please splash. Dude, oh, kill it! No, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. There's just nothing I can do. Alright, Evo Skelly is gonna have to save me here. That's literally our last hope. Golem, please don't splash my tower. Yes, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Nado to pull it back. This is our last hope. Really, seriously, is our last hope. He gets a rage on the tower. Oh, and he has tw He has rocket. He has rocket. What are the odds? I'm gonna do the mid ladder thing. I'm gonna put Hog Rider in this deck. You're going in instead of the mirror. Let's take the rage out. This is basically just gonna become a meta deck now. We'll put the Tesla in. Okay. It's still a cycle deck technically. It's below three elixir, which I would classify as a cycle deck. We're gonna win this game and get the lucky drop, all right? So I can stop filming and get on with other stuff because I'm a busy boy. And I don't have time to be filming for 30 minutes, but it's about to be 30 minutes. It's already been 26 minutes. Damn. Um, okay, at least the Mega Knight here is going to get some really good value on all this stuff. Nice. Okay. Mega Knight's going to do bits. Now it's going to put some pressure on him. He's going to have to waste some elixir. And then hopefully I just clean everything up with some skeletons. Okay, since he doesn't really do anything to kill the Mega Knight, we have a fresh Mega Knight coming at him. Firecracker should kill these minions, and hopefully the Mega Knight can get onto tower. Dude, what a... <clears throat> that is very close, but just not close enough. Is that, does that kill? No, of course it doesn't. We're going to play the Hog here, distract that Ghost. He's going to play Bandit, E-Wiz, of course, or just Bandit. We have a chance here. We have a chance. 
A well-timed fire spirit to make the bandit walk over will kill it. Nice. And now we have a little counter push going. That was pro plays right there. I learned that from one of my videos where I accidentally did it, by the way, which I'm very proud of. Okay, so just to be annoying, we're going to play the firecracker here and get some damage onto the E-Wiz. Someone's watching me again. Don't like this pressure, by the way. Mm. Pekka is really not good for me. Hopefully that splashes onto the E-Wiz. Of course it doesn't. Tesla doesn't pop up because I played it way too low. Um, but we are able to defend this all okay. Shit. Uh, never mind. I lied. Not okay whatsoever. We're gonna have to pray that that doesn't get a hit. He has a zap. Damn. Okay. <laughs> this is annoying. He's taken basically my whole tower through that one push. And he has poison. Okay. It's time for the hog rider to come down. No more messing around. Dude, he just has something for everything, doesn't he? Because why not? Why wouldn't you have something for everything? Okay, I really want to play the Mega Knight there, but I know he can just P.E.K.K.A. and kill me, so we're not going to do that. We're going to put some pressure on with this. He decides to play the band. Ah, oh, dude! Okay, Tesla coming down. Let's be patient here. I didn't mean to fucking do that, did I? Firecracker is going to come down, kill that one uh, minion. Battle Ram dies. We can now go in with a hog. Firecracker should stay behind. It does. Now we can log. Log for the hog. Firecracker does not shoot the E-Wiz, just because it doesn't like me, I guess. Uh, doesn't want me to have a good time, but we're back in it. Now, as long as I ensure he doesn't get anything sneaky onto my tower, no sneaky zaps or anything, then we should be good. I'm gonna play a Firecracker low here, even though he has his, um, what you call it? His poison. Why the fuck does that go to my tower? Okay, I swear to God if I lose because of that. Oh my God, that was way too close. Why did it go to my tower? e -wiz? Stop. Alright, focus on one of my skeletons. Hog, oh, get another hit. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, we have a chance. Log for that. We missed the log. Okay, that was close. Now we're gonna go in with a firecracker. Gonna go in with our hog. Gonna go in with our ice spirit. Gonna hope he doesn't get a P.E.K.K.A. down on time. Please get a hit. Oh my god, thank fuck. Okay, we got a lucky drop. Finally. I've been filming for way too long. Alright, give me something good. Yesterday, you decided to be nice. Today, I'm gonna open it just as slow. One, two, hey, that's pretty good. Damn, dude. Okay, I need to start opening these slow because this is working ridiculously good. I've never got anything good. And now we have an overflow of wild cards for champion, which maybe means that next episode, I can upgrade my little prince to level 14 and then level 15. Anyway, that was cool. Click here if you want to see another video. Like, comment for the algorithm. Subscribe. I'll see you later.